Hello and welcome to today's program. My name is Celia Avila de Santiago and I work at the Junipero Serra Branch Library. Today I have the pleasure of introducing today's program with Josue Cuenta Cuentos. Hola y bienvenidos a nuestro programa. Yo soy Celia Avila de Santiago y trabajo en la Biblioteca de Junipero Serra. Hoy tengo el placer de presentar, a nuestro, presentar nuestro programa con Josue Cuenta Cuentos. But before we start, don't forget to sign up for our summer reading program. Register online or in person to collect points for reading and completing fun learning-based activities. For more information, you can visit this link, this link here, <laughs> or in the chat. Antes de que empecemos, acuérdense que nuestro club de lectura de verano ha empezado. Pueden inscribirse en línea o en una de nuestras bibliotecas y van a acumular puntos y ganar premios a leer o completar actividades divertidas. Para, y para más información, pueden visitar el enlace que está aquí en la pantalla. Y ahora, uh, le damos la bienvenida a Josué. Welcome, Josué. I'm going to tell you my name with a little song. It's polite when someone tells you their name for you to pay attention so you can remember it forever and ever. So if you see them, you can say, hey, that's so and so and so and so and so. Josué cuenta cuentos, Josué cuenta cuentos, Josué cuenta cuentos. I think you got it, right? The silly story time man, the silly story time man, the silly story time man. Actually, I was born in Mexico. My full name is really long. Mi nombre es muy largo porque yo nací en México. Así es que tengo que decir todo mi nombre y ustedes se lo tienen que aprender. Hmm. I have to say my full name and you have to memorize it. Here it goes. Josué cuenta cuentos, Martínez Sánchez Ramírez, Ortega de la O. Bautista Sarmiento. Para servirle a usted, a la comadre, a la tía. Oiga, ¿cómo están los niños? ¿Bien? Ah, pues me los saluda. Yo aquí estoy bien, así con un poquito dolor de río más, pero estamos bien. De la O, vaca del río. That is my whole name. Ese es mi nombre completo. Ok, ahora que se sabe mi nombre, quiero que me lo digan de regreso. En los comentarios, quiero que escriban mi nombre. A ver si pusieron atención. Now that I said my name, I want you to write down my full name because it's polite. You know, when people tell you their names, you have to remember it. So I want you to write it in the comments, my whole name. And if you miss one last name, <laughs> Mi abuelita, she's going to be so hurt. Y si se les olvida un no apellido, mi abuelita va a estar muy dolida. <laughs> bueno, pues, a ver, quiero ver, quiero ver si alguien escribe mi nombre completo, si alguien se lo aprendió. Si no, está bien. Al final de la hora se lo van a aprender. 
Este día es un día muy hermoso, maravilloso. Estamos celebrando Pride. We are celebrating Pride and it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Now I want to make it more beautiful and I'll tell you how in a little bit. But first, let me sing a song about this beautiful day while I wait on some comments about my name. Hmm. Today is such a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Forget your worries and forget your troubles because today is such a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Chubby dooby dooby doo wah. Shubi dooby dooby doo wah. Shubi dooby doo wah. Y ahora lo vamos a decir en español. Este día es tan hermoso. Olvida tus penas y preocupaciones. Este día es tan hermoso. Shubi dooby dooby doo wah. Shubi dooby dooby doo wah. Estamos hablando en español, no diríamos chubi dubi dubi dubá, ¿verdad? Nadie dice chubi dubi dubá en español. Hmm. ¿Qué diríamos en español en vez de chubi dubi dubá? Hmm. Ah, creo que ya, ya sé. Este día es tan hermoso, olvida tus penas y preocupaciones, que este día es tan hermoso. y nosotros, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, vamos a empezar con un cuento. Oh, no, les iba a decir de cómo podemos hacer este día más hermoso, más maravilloso. I told you that I was going to tell you about how we can make this day more beautiful. One way we can do it is by putting a smile on our face. Podemos sonreír. Hmm. We can find our caregiver and give them a great big hug. Oh. Podemos ir con nuestros papás y darles un buen abrazo bien fuerte así. Oh. O a su abuelita. Pueden darle un abrazo a su abuelita. You can give your grandma a big, great hug. What else can we do? Hmm. Now with today's technology, we can do something like bring in the sun, bring in the clouds, bring some rainbows. How? With emojis. Oh, smart. Oh, I know I'm smart. Okay, so I want you to use your device's emojis and bring hmm, a sun, just one sun, okay, with the emojis. After that, I want you to put in the comments hmm, two clouds, okay, two clouds. And then I want three little flowers whatever kind you like, three flowers. And after the flowers, we go to number four. Since we're celebrating pride, I want you to write down or find four rainbows. And five should be the best one of all, let's see. Hmm. With your device, I want you to find a heart because love is beautiful and love makes the day beautiful so if you find five hearts it could be whatever color you like okay para hacer el día más hermoso vamos a usar los emojis de nuestras tabletas o de nuestros teléfonos okay el número uno vamos a poner un solecito y luego vamos a contar a dos uno dos y vamos a poner dos nubes y tres Vamos a poner tres florecitas, ¿ok? Cuatro van a ser cuatro arcoíris, ya que estamos celebrando el mes del orgullo. Cinco tiene que ser más importante que eso. ¿Qué podremos usar? Hmm. Oh, ya sé. Podemos usar un corazoncito, porque el amor hace que el mundo dé vueltas. 
¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, ahora vamos a, ya que hicimos el día maravilloso, vamos a contar un cuento. Un cuento sobre, ¿de qué podría ser? Si hablamos de amor, florecitas, arcoíris, el sol, podemos usar una historia romántica. Una palomita que estaba enamorada de un palomito. We're going to tell a story about a little pigeon, a female pigeon, who was in love with a male pigeon. 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 <laughs> It's because in Spanish it's pichon. Pichon. Y, well, they're in love and they're together for a long time, but then all of a sudden the male pi pigeon decides to leave. Leave the poor pigeon by herself. That's sad. And the poor pigeon was crying. <laughs> El, la, el palomito dejó a la palomita después de tantos años de una vida amorosa y una familia bonita. Y la palomita se quedó triste y sola. Sola con su soledad. Sola con su compañía. Pero, pero, <ríe> ella no perdió las ganas y, y el sueño de buscar el amor. Así es que esperaba y esperaba a ver quién se acercaba. The little pigeon did not lose hope and dreams of finding love. So she just sat there on her little branch waiting and waiting and waiting. And then, all of a sudden, came a fox, a beautiful red fox. De repente llegó un, ¿cómo se dice fox en español? A ver si saben. Si saben, los pueden escribir en los comentarios, ¿ok? Fox se dice zorrito. Llegó un zorrito y la, la, la palomita le dice, zorrito, zorrito, me siento desolada. ¿Me puedes dar un abrazo? The little pigeon said, Mr. Fox, I feel so sad. Would you give me a hug? And the fox said, if I give, if I give you a hug, I'm going to end up eating you. That's not good. And then he ran away. El zorrito le dijo, si te abrazo, te voy a comer. Y eso no está bien. Así es que se fue el zorrito. Y ella se puso a llorar. <laughs> She started crying. <laughs> And then another animal came by. A hedgehog. De repente llegó un erizo. Y ustedes saben que los erizos tienen espinas. You know that hedgehogs have spines on their back. So, little dove said, The pigeon said, Mr. Hedgehog, would you give me a hug? I feel so sad. I feel so sad. And the hedgehog said, mm, if I hug you, you know I have spikes on my back. I'm going to hurt you. I don't think that's good. And then he went away. El erizo le dijo, no, si te abrazo, te voy a picar. Mira mis agujas en mi espalda. Eso no está bien. Y se fue el erizo. Entonces la palomita se puso a llorar otra vez. Pero ella no perdía esperanza. She started crying again. But she didn't lose hope. And then all of a sudden a turtle came by. Oh, well, you know, they walk really slow. And palomita said, oh, Mr. Turtle, you're the one for me. Can I give you a hug? Or would you like to give me a hug? And turtle said, ah. Uh, I have too slow. I don't think that's a good idea. And then he left. And he was still leaving. And he was still leaving. So Palomita started crying again. Oh, I feel so sad. I feel so sad. So Palomita le dijo a una tortuga que se acercó, le dijo, tú eres el amor de mi vida. Por favor, quédate conmigo. Dame un abrazo. O oh, yo te doy un abrazo, como tú quieras. Y la tortuga dijo, no, yo no te puedo dar un abrazo. Yo abrazo muy lento, muy despacio. Así es que se fue. Y caminó. Él iba corriendo, corriendo y casi no se movía. Bueno, la palomita se puso a llorar. Little Dubby started crying and crying and crying. <coughs> I gonna do? I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. ¿Qué voy a hacer? No quiero estar sola. 
sola con mi soledad. All of a sudden came in another dove, another little beautiful dove came by and stood right next to her. De repente llegó otra palomita y se paró al lado de ella. Y la palomita, la segunda, le dijo. <coughs> the second dove said, <coughs> uh, Paloma? And the first Paloma looked at her and started crying again. <laughs> but she didn't even think of love because she was so sad. So the other Paloma, la Palomita, la segunda le dice, hmm. Y Palomita paró de llorar. <gasps> Little dove stopped crying. And she just looked at the other dove. And the other dove continued. Paloma. And the first dove kept crying again. <laughs> y la, la primera palomita siguió llorando. La segunda palomita le dice, the second dove tells her. Cucurro, cucurro. And the first palomita was crying still. <laughs> and the second palomita tells her, no llores. Don't cry, she told her. So then the first palomita raised her head. She cleaned her tears. And she looked at the second dove, two little doves looking at each other into each other's eyes. And the second dove said, uh, Palomita, what do you say I treat you for some tacos? Y le, la segunda palomita le dijo, Palomita, ¿qué te parece si te disparo unos tacos? Y la primera palomita le dice, tacos. Ella era un poquito fresa. <laughs> the second, the first dove said, tacos? Mm, she was a little fancy. She didn't like tacos. So then the second dove said, la segunda palomita le dice, OK, si no te gustan los tacos porque eres fresa, ¿Qué tal un caramel macchiato? Y la primera palomita dice, sí, sí, sí. The second dove said, since you don't like tacos, how about a caramel macchiato? So they went, both left and they had their coffee. And they say that at night, you can see them flying and flying and flying from town to town, traveling, living happy, happily ever after. Y dicen, que si hoy es por las noches, a las dos palomitas, nada más se les va en volar y volar y volar de pueblo en pueblo, felices y llenas de amor. Y vivieron felices para siempre. Colorín colorado, ese cuento se ha acabado. Ding, 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 now it's time for me to get my silly hat. And I'm going to ask you to go in your house and look for a silly hat. If you don't have a silly hat, you can use a towel. You can use, hmm, what else? An open book, put it on your head. Something that will look like a silly hat, OK? This is a special hat because it's the first hat I used when I was doing storytelling online when pandemic started and this hat is really special to me so i'm gonna wear this silly hat while you find your silly hat okay and we're gonna sing a song i hope you're running finding your hat i haven't seen any comments hmm okay here we go okay so this song is called Agarra tu sombrero y póntelo. And in English, it's called Grab Your Little Hat and Put It On. Esta canción se llama Agarra tu sombrero y póntelo. Y si tiene su sombrero, pues pónganselo. Mm -hmm. Agarra tu sombrero y póntelo. 
Vamos a la playa, calienta el sol, agarra tu sombrero y póntelo. Vamos a la playa, calienta el sol, chibiribiri, por un pom pom, 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 por un pom pom. Y ahora, en inglés. Let's sing it in English. How will we sing it? Okay. Agarra tu sombrero y ponte lo. Grab your little hat and put it on. Oh, I think I got it. Grab your little hat and put it on. Going to the beach because the sun is out. Okay, that was a little extra. Let me try again. Grab your little hat and put it on. Going to the beach because the sun is out. Grab your little hat and put it on. Going to the beach because the sun is out. Chibidi bidi, porom pom pom. 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 Porom porom. Now, el sol es sun, la playa es beach, arena es sand, el pescadito suartish. Agarra tu sombrero y póntelo. Vamos a la playa, calienta el sol, grab your little hat and put it on. Going to the beach, cause the sun is out. Chibidibidi, porom pom pom. Chibidibidi, porom pom pom. Chibidibidi, porom pom pom. Chibidibidi, porom pom pom. Pom 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 Grab your little hat and put it on. Ding, 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 Okay, so now, why haven't I seen any comments? Hmm. If you're out there, oh, if you're out there, I want to connect with you. I want you to please put an emoji of a rainbow if you're there, if there's someone there. I don't see any comments. Okay, so if you're out there, put a, a little rainbow emoji or whatever you want. Just let me know that you're there, okay? So we did some better. Okay, now we get to play a game, okay? And it has to do with pets. Do you have a pet at home? If you have a pet, let me know with the emojis. If you have a cat, show me a little kitty. Or if you have a dog, let's do a dog. Maybe tell me their names. Or if you have an imaginary pet, what would you call your imaginary pet? Hmm? I will call my imaginary donkey Pamphilo. Pamphilo the donkey. <laughs> but I don't have to have an imaginary friend because I have a real pet. And this is Mr. S'more. Mr. S'more is a little pug. And he's my companion. He is like my child. And also like my dad sometimes. Es enojón. Este es mi perro. En inglés se llama Mr. S'more, but my neighbors that don't speak English, they call him bombón. Porque parece un bombón quemado. <laughs> Cuando queman los bombones y hacen fogatas, así se mira mi chiquitito. Bueno, vamos a jugar un juego. We're going to play a game that's called Three of these things go together. It can also be called one of these things is not the same. And I'm going to show you four cards, and I want you to see them. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Oh, it's hard because my camera is reversed, but there are four pets here. And the, the game goes like this. Three of these things go together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't go here. 
Now it's time to play our game. Time to play our game. Okay, using the emojis, I have a feeling I'm not seeing comments, but you are writing them down, hopefully. But using emojis, you can uh, let me know which of these doesn't belong. Is it a doggy or a kitty? You can show me, okay? I think, well, let's see what we have. Hmm. We have a doggy. We have another doggy. And a third doggy. And a cat. Hmm. Three dogs and a cat. I think that the cat, oh, there's someone there. Yay. You have a, the cat doesn't belong. Yay, I'm so glad there's someone out there. I kind of feel like E.T. when he's trying to connect to, to someone, someone out there like E.T. Farm Home. That's how I feel. <laughs> oh, yay. Nice. There's a dog. Okay, so the cat doesn't belong, right? Okay. So if you have a dog or a cat, you can put it in the emojis and then I'll know. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to change the cards, and I'm going to ask, I have another pet here that I want to, I want him to play with us, okay? Now, I want you to guess what kind of pet he is. He is green, and he likes to go like this, rawr, rawr, rawr. and he likes to jump around jump around, jump around. So what kind of animal is it? What do you think? Let's see. Is it, I'll give you clues. Is it an elephant? I hope not. I hope it's not an elephant. Is it a tiger? No. Is it a spider? <laughs> okay, so le voy a pedir a mi amiguito, es verde? Oh, let's see. Yay! Es verde y es muy saltarín. ¿Qué tipo de animal crees que es? Hmm. Y también le gusta el agua. Oh, yay. Okay. He is, if you said a frog, si dijeron que es una rana, tienen razón, porque es una rana. Hello, hello, hello. No, he's a little extra and he... He talks a little funny, okay? Let's see. Mr. Frog, can you say happy pride to our friends? Yeah, sure. Happy pride. I told you, he's extra. Okay, so we have our new cards here. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to start the game again. So it goes like this. Three of these things go together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't go here. Now it's time to play our game. It's time to play our game. Now, what do you think? Which one doesn't belong? Hmm. What do you think, Mr. Frog? <clears throat> okay. If you can tell us what you see so that our friends can decide and do the emoji of the one that doesn't belong, that will help us out. Si nos dices qué es lo que ves, señor Ranita, nos puede ayudar. Okay, okay, okay. I see a kitty. Meow, meow, meow. And I see another kitty. Meow, 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 meow. And I see another kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Ooh, la, la, what do I see here? And I see a beautiful frog. A frog. So you said there's three kitties and a frog. That can only mean one thing. What? The frog doesn't belong, right? The frog doesn't belong. What? The frog doesn't belong? Nope, because there's three cats and one frog. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep, the frog doesn't belong here. Only cats. 
right? <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Mr. Frog, I didn't mean I didn't mean you. I meant this frog, not you. Oh, friends, I think I heard Mr. Frog's feelings. You see, he goes to say that it's so easy to hurt someone. And even though you don't want to, I didn't mean to hurt him. But what I said made the frog feel bad. So I have to make it right by finding him and apologizing him to him and, and maybe give him ice cream. He likes ice cream, right? Yeah. All right, so I want to show you other cards. Lo que estaba diciendo que es muy fácil decir palabras a otra persona, otro animalito, como a la rana, que le dije que la rana no pertenece aquí, y la rana se fue, se sintió, y, pero yo no quería lastimarla. Eso nos enseña que es muy fácil decir palabras que lastiman a otras personas, y eso no está bien. Tenemos que cuidar lo que decimos, ¿verdad? Ok, I want to show you other cards. Ok, les voy a enseñar otras tarjetas. Ok, so what do you see? Beautiful family, right? With the mommy and the daddy and two beautiful daughters. They kind of look like twins, or maybe not. One looks uh, younger than the other one, so maybe not. They're sisters. So that is a family. And we have here another family. But this family has two mommies. Two mommies and a baby, and they look like they're pretty much in love. La 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 la, sha la 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 la. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know how to sing. Okay, the third card is another family. This family has two daddies. I wish I had one daddy. I don't have one daddy. I only have a mommy. And that leads to the fourth card. This is another family. This family only has one mommy, one caregiver. You see? Now, do you see a difference here in these four cards? Hmm. This seems like a different game. A different game that I would sing like this. Four of these things go together. Four of these things are pretty much the same. But all of these things make me really happy. And I hope you feel the same. I hope you feel the same. Now, I've shown this to kids before, and they tell me that the one that is different is this one. Because there is one caregiver instead of two. But I want to say that no, this one is the same as the other ones. I was raised by one mommy. My mommy was my mommy and my daddy. And I can tell you that I have all the love I need with my mommy. Le mando un saludo a mi mamá. Les decía que esta tarjeta, usualmente los niños me dicen que esta es la, es la que es diferente, porque nada más hay un papá en vez de dos. Pero yo soy producto de una familia de una mamá, y mi mamá me dio todo el amor del mundo. Así es que no, no hay diferencia, porque unas mamás son super mamás. Super mommies. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What do I have here to do next? Hmm, we did pets. Oh, I get to tell you about my friend Graciela. Hmm, okay, so this story has three characters. Okay, it starts with two lions and a little gazelle. Now, the first lion lived in a zoo in Mexico City. That's where I'm from, Mexico City. And his name was Miguelito. Now Miguelito was old enough for him to find a mate. 
and all the zookeepers were like, oh, what are we going to do? We got to find him a maid. We got to find him a maid. And even his mommy was like, okay, Nico, ya es hora de irte a la casa. Ya tienes 18 años, okay? No pagas renta, okay? Yo te hago de comer. Y estás aquí nada más, leoncito. The story, la, la, la historia que vamos a contar, la que estoy contando, es la historia de un leoncito que vi, vivía en México, en el zoológico, y ya estaba tan grande que su mamá le dijo, ok, mijo, ya es hora de que patitas para la calle, ya estás muy grande, mijo, ya pasaste desde los 18 años, no, 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 no pagas renta, te estoy cocinando, te hago todo, es tiempo de encontrar una pareja. Y la, la gente del zoológico también decían, oh, tenemos que encontrar una leona para este león. El nombre de este león se llamaba Miguelito. Le trajeron una leona feroz. Y la leona se le paró enfrente de él. They brought this lioness, beautiful, very fierce. And she stood right next to him. And she went like this. Y ella le hizo así. Purr. Purr. Le hizo así al leoncito. Y el leoncito ni se movía. So, ella le hizo otra vez. So, she did it again because Miguelito the lion, he wouldn't move. She kept going, purr, purr. Finally, Miguelito raised his head and said, I'm sorry, there's no connection, but we can be friends. Okay. Miguelito le dijo, discúlpame, pero no hay conexión, pero podemos ser amigos, si tú quieres. Y la leona se fue, toda enfurecida. Ah. So then the zookeepers, los del zoológico, trajeron a otra leona. They brought another lion. This lion was more aggressive. Se le paró enfrente al león. She stood right next to Miguelito and she said, Arrrr. And Miguelito just looked at her like, Oh, yes, ta que trae. <laughs> and Miguelito miró a la leona que era más agresiva y dijo, Esta que trae. Le dijo, discúlpame, no tengo, no hay conexión, discúlpame, pero podemos ser amigos. Y la leona se fue corriendo bien enojada. The lioness, she was so mad because Miguelito said, you know, we can only be friends. There's no connection. There's nothing there. I'm sorry. And she left. He was polite, you know, and he said, we can be friends. That's, I think he did good. Él fue muy educado en decirles, podemos ser amigos. No fue nada grosero con ellas. Dice, bueno. bueno, en San Diego había otro zoológico y había otro león que se llamaba Tayo. San Diego had another zoo and there was another lion named Tayo. Now, Tayo was a surfer lion. He had his hair tussled like that to the side and he was... He loved to surf. He loved the sun. He was a California lion. <laughs> a león Cayo le gustaba irse a la playa, broncearse. Era todo un león de California. Pero él lo llevaban para todos lados y dijo, ¿saben qué? Les dijo a los del zoológico. Quiero que me manden a otro zoológico en otro país. Kyle said to the zookeepers, you know what, I've been here too long. Can you send me to another zoo, maybe in another country? So they sent Kyle to Mexico City, where Miguelito was staying. Uh, mandaron a Kyle a la Ciudad de México, donde, al zoológico donde estaba Miguelito. Entonces entra Kyle, así con su pelo de lado, así, ¿verdad? Entra así. Miguel, Miguelito hizo la cabeza así ¡Oh! y se le prendieron los ojos a Miguelito y todo lo que oyó en su cabeza fue ¡Ah, Chihuahua, Kyle came in and he had his hair like all like, you know, covering one eye and then he went like that and Miguelito saw Kyle for the first time and all he heard was that song with, that comes out in The Lion King. Oh, chihuahua, 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 And his eyes lit up. Ding, 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 ding. All of a sudden, Kyle turns. And he looks at Miguelito. De repente, Kyle volteó. 
he miró a Miguelito. And guess what he heard in his ears? Ah, chihuahua, 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 chihuahua. Jalo miró a Miguelito y también oyó esa música tan extraña. <risa> Se miraron uno al otro y empezaron a, a tener una conversación. Miguelito sabía un poquito de inglés, Kyle sabía un poquito de español, pero así se entendía. They had a conversation, Miguelito spoke a little bit of English, and Kyle spoke a little bit of Spanish, but they understood each other. The zookeepers, though, los del zoológico, los estaban viendo nada más. They were watching them, and all they could see is two male lions going, todo lo que veían era a dos leones machos así. Pero en el lenguaje de leones, ellos estaban platicando sobre la vida, lo que les había pasado, sus experiencias. But in the lion language, they were talking about their life, their experiences, what they've gone through. They were having such a deep connection. So the zookeepers, they got scared because they thought they were about to fight. Los del zoológico se espantaron, dijeron, estos leones se van a, a comer vivos. No, no, no. Écheles ahí un chivo o algo. A ver qué encuentras. The zookeeper said, you know, they're going to kill each other. Why don't you throw in a, 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 a gazelle? A gazelle. Un gazelle no es un chivo. Okay? Sí, pero quiero que aprendan qué es un gazelle. Es como un chivo, pero de África, ¿ok? Y se mira así. This is what a little gazelle looks like. She's a baby. Oh, so cute. It's almost like a sheep, but it lives in Africa. Mm -hmm. So the baby gazelle, they threw her in the lion's area at the zoo, right? And she was so scared. She was like this. You know, uh, metieron a la chivita ahí y toda espantada y así, dijo, a ver, ¿a qué horas me van a comer? They're going to eat me. So Kyle, after a long conversation with Miguelito, he said, hey, Miguelito, what do you say you and I adopt this baby gazelle and start our own family? I love uh, our connection and I think we can do it, man. What do you say, dude? Y Miguelito dijo, OK. Kyle le dijo al a León Miguelito, dice, ¿qué te parece si entre tú y yo adoptamos a esta chivita, esta chivita africana? Y con la conexión que tenemos, pues empezamos una familia. Dice, ¿nos va a ir bien? Y Miguelito dijo, ¿está bien? Kyle y Miguelito vivieron muy felices. Y Graciela, la chivita, porque así le pusieron Graciela, la chivita, fue la chivita más vivita que vieron en todo el mundo animal, porque salió igual a sus dos papás. En Graciela, la gazelle, because they named her Graciela, by the way, Graciela was the fiercest gazelle in all of the animal kingdom because she came out just like her two daddies. Fierce. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Y ese es el fin de nuestro cuento de Graciela y los dos leones. This is the ending of Graciela and the two lions. It's so hard to speak in Spanish and then English. Es muy difícil hablar en inglés y en español. Voy a tratar de hacer uno, okay? I'm going to try to just speak one so that it's easier. Okay. So, Graciela. Mm, okay. Tengo otro cuento. Un cuento. Lo voy a decir en español. Okay. I have another story and I'm going to say it in Spanish. Maybe I'll say it in English after. We have time. I think we do have time. Okay, se llama Las Dos Ollas. Okay. En un pueblo de Puebla, en una calle llamada Pueblo, 
en una calle, en un pueblo de Puebla, donde viven los poblanos. No, ustedes me entienden. Pero para que se den una idea, fue en Puebla, en una calle que se llama Pueblo, donde viven los poblanos, en un pueblito cerca de ahí. <risa> Había un señor que tenía dos ollas. Una olla era hecha de oro y la otra olla era hecha de tierra. Entonces, él usaba estas ollas para ir caminar lejos, lejos, lejos al río a carrear agua. Y las amarraba al final de, un, de una calle que se ponía en sus hombros. Y él iba a carrear su agua, las llenaba de agua, las amarraba y se regresaba. Bueno, la olla de oro, porque las, las ollas hablan, si no se lo sabían. La olla de oro lastimaba mucho a la otra y le decía, ay, dice, tú no eres de oro, y dice, mírame a mí, yo soy de oro, yo soy brillosa, tú eres de, de tierra, dice, tú no sirves para nada, y además tienes una grieta y se sale el agua, y cuando llegamos aquí nada más tienes la mitad, y yo tengo todo hasta arriba lleno de agua, dice, tú no sirves para nada, y la olla se puso muy triste. Y ella lloraba, lloraba, y podías ver a la olla llorando por sus grietas, se le salía el agua. Así pasaron dos años. Y el dueño se dio cuenta que la olla que estaba hecha de barro lloraba todos los días. Y finalmente le dijo, ollita, ¿por qué estás llorando? Y la ollita dijo, es que yo no sirvo para nada. La olla de oro es más eficiente. Ella siempre trae la agua hasta arriba. Y yo nada más la tengo a la mitad. Yo no sirvo para nada. ¿Por qué no me tiras a la basura? Dice, yo valgo nada. Y el señor dijo, ay, ahorita, ahorita. Mira, te voy a ayudar, le dijo. Cuando vayamos mañana a carrear más agua, quiero que te des cuenta en el campo. ¿Ok? Cuando regresemos te voy a preguntar qué es lo que viste. Y así llegó al otro día, se fueron caminando, pasaron el campo, y la ollita nomás miraba y miraba a ver qué ve. Y ya carriaron el agua, se regresaron, la olla de oro estaba llena, la olla de barro estaba a la mitad. Y le dice el dueño, le dice, ollita, ahora sí, dime, ¿qué es lo que viste? Y la ollita pensaba y pensaba, hmm, ¿qué es lo que vi? Estaba un poco confundida porque no sabía por qué el dueño le dijo que miraba al campo. Entonces le dijo, señor, pues yo vi mucha hierba, yo vi mucha verdura, yo vi un campo lleno de milpas de lote, yo vi frutas, yo vi árboles, árboles de manzanas, árboles de naranja, árboles de mango, árboles de plátano, de todo había, habían verduras, todo, y también había mucha gente comiendo y agarrando de ahí para llevárselas a sus, a sus casas, y dice el dueño, sí, tienes razón, dice, ese campo estaba vacío, no tenía nada de verduras, nada de hierbas, nada de frutas, nada de árboles, dice, pero cuando yo te compré, yo noté que tú tenías un hoyito, dice, y yo planté semillas en el campo y dije, cuando vaya a carrear agua, voy a poner esa hoyita de este lado para que cuando regresemos, venga regando el campo, dice, todo lo que tú viste, eso alimenta a todo el pueblo, dice, las verduras, las frutas, los árboles, la milpa de lotes, todo eso es gracias a ti. ¡Wow! Dijo la vida, dice, yo no sabía que era tan valiosa. Dice, sí, tú eres más valiosa de lo que tú crees. Y ahí termina nuestra historia. Fíjense que la otra olla, la olla de oro, nunca volvió a decir ni pío. Eso, eso se trata de, ¿de qué se trata esta historia? De creer en ti mismo y también de no escuchar lo que dicen los demás. Y esa olla se les llama, en inglés se les llama bullying. 
Mm. This story, if you don't know Spanish, was about two pots. One pot was made out of gold and the other one was made out of clay, like dirt. And the, the pot that was made out of dirt had a little crack. And when, they, when the owner will carry water, it will come back with half the water. The pot that was made out of gold was a little bit of a bully to the other one. And she would tell her, look, you have a crack. You're not good enough. Look at me, I'm made out of gold, I'm beautiful, I'm shiny. And I bring the water all the way to the top. You only bring it back like halfway. What kind of pot are you? You're worthless. She told her. Now we call people like that bullies. We call pots like that bullies. So the pot would cry for years and years, like two years. Finally, the owner said, Oh, you got little pot. Why are you crying? And then the you got told me, Whoa, I'm worthless. The golden pot is, you know, she brings more water than me. And I have a crack and I just bring half the water. Why don't you just throw me away? And the man said, Okay, next time we go carry water, I want you to pay attention to the field, okay? And the pot was very confused, but she said, Okay. The next day they went to carry water. And the pot was looking around, looking at the field, and she saw that there was a lot of vegetation. There were veggies, there were fruit, there were trees like mango trees, pear trees, apple trees, all kinds of trees. There were beautiful flowers everywhere. There was a field of corn, cornfield. So when they came back, he asked her, what did you see? And so she, she told him, right? He saw this field with a lot of fruits and veggies and the the people of the town would go and they would take stuff to their homes and i'm sure it feeds everyone in the in the town and the man said yep yeah, that's right that field feeds the whole town and that field wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you because when i bought you i noticed that you had a little crack and i'm smart i said i'm going to put the little pot on this side so that when we come back from the river you will water the whole field so thanks to you we have all this abundance of food so you should believe in yourself you are more valuable than you think and that is how our story ends and the golden pot never said anything after that now what do we call the People like the golden pot, bullies. It's better to have a million friends than to be a bully. Bullies are sad and they don't know that's why they're bullies. to have a million friends and be an awesome buddy. Be better to have a million friends than to be a bully. Bullies are sad and they don't know that's why they're bullies. Better to have an awesome friend and oh, be an awesome friend and be sweet and kind and adorable and a little fierce what other qualities do we have kind adorable sweet smiley mm, buddy better to be an awesome friend, an awesome buddy, instead of a bully. How can we be a buddy? Easy. We can smile, right? We can ding-ling, ding-ling, ling ding ling ling, ling ling We can say hello. Hey, hello. You can take it a step further and say, how are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. ¿Cómo podemos ser mejores amigos? ¿Podemos sonreír? 
smiles, se dice. Podemos decir hola y también podemos decir buenos días, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está la comadre? <laughs> we can help, podemos ayudar. We can help others. We can help our mommy in the morning, our caregiver. We can help with, hmm, by making our bed. Hmm. Podemos ayudar, ayudar a nuestros amigos, a nuestros padres, haciendo nuestra cama, limpiando, tirando la basura afuera. Podemos dar gracias. We can give thanks. Now this, when I read it, I think of Thanksgiving, right? Give thanks. But no, we give thanks every day. We say thank you for this, thank you for that. Some people don't. And it's important to keep that in your head and have gratitude. We can say thank you to our mommy, our teacher. We can be grateful for what we have. Mm, yeah, there's lots of ways to give thanks. Esto es ser agradecidos. Podemos ser más agradecidos y agradecer lo que tenemos. Agradecer a nuestra mamá, a nuestros papás, a nuestra maestra que nos, nos ayudó el día de hoy. We can also be kind. Kind to others, but more importantly to ourselves. También podemos ser, how do you say kind in Spanish? Ser bondadosos. Bondadosos con otros, pero especialmente con nosotros mismos. And that's how you can be a better buddy. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's see. Qualities. Oh, we're almost ending. Oh, my goodness. Time flies. Okay, the last thing I want to do, since I've been doing virtual story times, I get messages from kids and parents saying, oh, my goodness, Josue. My kid, or the kid says, I don't like going to school on, like virtually. I want to see my friends. I don't get to give my teacher an apple. Los padres y los niños me dicen, ay, esto de ir a la escuela virtualmente, no, no, no es bueno. Los niños me dicen, ay, no veo a mis amigos, no le doy una manzana a mi maestra. No me gusta, no me gusta, no me gusta nada de ir a la escuela virtualmente. I don't like going to school virtually. So I thought to myself, hmm, how can I help? How can I help? Ah, so I wrote a song called Zoom, 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 I Don't Want to Go to School. And it goes like this. go to school on Zoom today. I don't even know where the link is anyway. I don't want to brush my teeth today. Take a shower. Or what? They don't even smell me through the screen. I don't even get to see my friends in research. I don't even get to give my teacher. I don't even get to give my teacher. I don't even get to give my teacher an ah, 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 ah. So then, I remember that I gotta be brave. I gotta show my mommy that yes I can, like Cesar Chavez. That I'm at the comfort of my own home and I get to wear my Pikachu. So I get all excited. I find the link and I log in 
and my screen is frozen again. And that is the end. Yay, I can hear you. Estaba mute. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I didn't have a silly hat, so I, I made a crown. No tenía okay. sombrerito en mi oficina, pero me puse una corona de florecitas para celebrar. Uh, muchas gracias por acompañarnos hoy. Esperamos que todos se hayan divertido tanto como nosotros. The celebration continues next week with a visit to singer and artist Frank's studio. We'll see you next Wednesday at 4 here. Um, la celebración continuará la próxima semana con una visita al estudio del cantante y artista Frank. Los vemos el próximo martes aquí a las 4. For a list of all of our Pride celebrations, you can visit lapl.org slash LGBTQIA. Uh, we're going to put the link in the chat and it's also on the screen. Para más recursos y programas celebrando el mes del orgullo, visiten el enlace que sale aquí en la pantalla y en los comentarios. Josué, ¿esa es la abuelita? Sí, es mi abuelita. Les quiero decir algo rapidito. Ok. Mijitos. No se le olviden lavarse las manos, ¿eh? Por favor, no anden con las manos cochinas, ¿eh? Sí, bye. Muchas gracias, abuelita. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone at home that watched today. Uh, happy Pride. Feliz mes del orgullo. Y gracias por acompañarnos hoy. Adiós todos. Adiós, Josué. Bye, bye.